Hello everyone, Crimson Phoenix Bird here. Today we are going to be doing another TOA advice video. And today the floor that we are going to be doing is floor 60, which is the Veromos 2 Perna and 2 Hua Dam stage. Um, so let's take a look at some strategy info. And as always, at the end of this video, I will show you the runes to the monsters that I use in my team. Uh, so, as always, the three most commonly used monsters are Vero, Beretta, and Bella. And I will be using these three because they are great free-to-play monsters that are obtainable for everyone. And then, if we look down here, we have some different choices we could use to fill the last two slots. Um, we could be using a Lucian, but I wouldn't recommend that for a starter team because Lucians are used for speed teams, same with Theo, Galleon, and all that stuff. Uh, and for this video, uh, I'm going to be n uh, not nuking the boss. Uh, you can nuke the boss if you have the damage to do it. Uh, but if you don't, then the Pernas will keep healing, the Wadams will keep healing the boss, and you won't be able to kill it, and eventually he will wipe your team. So, for the purposes of this video, I'm going to be killing the Wadams first, and then going for the boss. Um, but there's different ways you can do it. So, a choice that we could use it would be Vertihill. Sorry, my headphones making a weird sound. Um, you could use Vertihill because Vertihill is a great turn multiplier, uh, always increasing your attack bar on those critical hits and giving you chances to land more of your crowd controls, stuns, etc. Uh, Bernard would also be usable. Uh, the problem with Bernard is he can be a little bit squishy in beginning TOA teams, but he's also a great turn multiplier. And if you're lucky enough to have something like Varad, you could use that as well for all those AoE freezes and attack bar reductions. Um, and you could also be using a Spectra team. Spectra Woundhack is also a real, another popular TOA team for the bosses. And I personally don't have that team, but a lot of people have said it's a great team. So let's jump in and take a look at the boss here. So I have set up a team that I will be using to show this video. So we've got the Mav for the boss provoke and the turn cooldowns. And then we also are using the Verta Hill for the turn multipliers. So on this stage, we're just going to Uh, take out these Vikings first. And it doesn't really matter. Except sometimes the Jokers can be a little bit annoying with all of their their passives camouflage skill, which prevents incoming damage. But it's not every turn, so they'll eventually die. Gonna finish these guys off here. And on this stage, what I would do is take out the Brian's first, uh, just because they are revivers, and sometimes they get annoying if they're always just reviving their allies. And luckily, uh, the arenas here are pretty low level, so they don't have like insane HP shields, so the shields with a defense break should be pretty, pretty breakable. So we're not going to be here for like 20 hours trying to take out arenas.
Yeah, so they're pretty squishy. Being only on stage 60. But in TOA Hard, some of these arenas can get pretty ridiculous. And sometimes we're here for a long time battling shields. Okay, so now that we're at the boss, uh, like I said, you could nuke the boss, but that's if you have enough damage. And if you have enough damage to just be nuking the boss, then you probably don't need to be watching this video. <laughs> um, so what we're going to do is uh, try to keep the boss provoked anyway, and then kill these Fawdams because they heal by 30% HP. And the Pernas will heal by 10% HP. Uh, but as long as you're doing more than like 10% damage, it shouldn't be a huge problem. So we've got Verta he here, um, turn multiplying. And Vera got a turn. But it's also cool that Mav, his cleanse also cleanses, stuns, and crowd control like Vero's doesn't. Now I've got resisted again. Okay, so the Wadams are dead now. Um, so what you could do from here is either go for the Pernas too, uh, but you have to kill the Pernas twice unless you have a form of skill cool time reset. But uh, since they only heal by 10% of the total HP, they shouldn't be too b big of a threat. So. We're just going to nuke the boss from here on. And they may even eventually die with dots over time if you keep applying them with Beretta. Unfortunately though we don't have an attack speed slow here, so the boss's attack bar is going to be increasing pretty fast. Uh, so that's one of the advantages of using Spectra. And Vera will also heal himself a little bit every time he removes a harmful effect, so if you keep him from getting a turn, these dots will really do some serious damage on the Pernas. And resist it again. So yeah, he's getting pretty low on HP here, and unfortunately the Pernas cannot keep up with their heals for the amount of damage that we're doing. And there. So after the wound hack, I mean, I'm sorry, the Hua Dams are taken out, they can't keep transferring 30% of their HP to Vero, so that's what makes him a little bit easier to clear after you kill them. So here are the runes. We've got Beretta, Speed, HP, HP, and so these aren't the best runes that you could possibly have. These are some of these are still pretty pretty new brunes. Uh but one of the biggest things to have on your runes for TOA clearing is probably going to be speed because not all of these are super fast, but they're all faster than the TOA monsters so that they can take the first turn. And I have Verde set to move last to Try to provide maximum turn multiplying. 
Um, so we have Vero, Speed, HP, HP. Bella, Defense, HP, Accuracy. And I have him on these runes because I use him in the dungeons as well and multiple different areas. So he's kind of a hybrid build. Then we have Nav, which is Speed, HP, Accuracy. So Accuracy Cap in TOA is... 55% is what I've heard people say, so you want to aim for around at least 55% accuracy on your TOA monsters. And then we have Vertihill on speed, crit rate, and defense. So he has crit rate 100% so that he can constantly be boosting everybody's attack bar. Uh, so that's going to be about it for this video. I hope you found this video informative and helpful and hopefully it helped you clear TOA 60. So hopefully I gave you a few kind of ideas that you could use um, if you haven't cleared it yet and good luck in clearing it before the reset. So thank you for watching and subscribe for new video updates.